Hello everyone, welcome once again to our channel, Prince Automation Destination. So today we are going to talk about how to implement IRE Try Analyzer for parallel execution in BDT Cucumber Framework. We have already covered one video on ID Try Analyzer implementation for re-executing of failed test cases, but that will work fine in case of sequential execution while in case of parallel execution it is causing some problem so we'll discuss about that particular challenge and we'll discuss about the resolution corresponding to that particular challenge right so without further delay let me jump on to the practical demonstration so we are using this particular cucumber framework let me quickly explain this particular framework if you are new to this particular cucumber framework we have already covered the series you can check out the entire series in order to get good understanding around cucumber we have covered it for absolute beginners right now uh, in cucumber we have uh, feature files and inside feature files we write the test cases in the form of scenario and corresponding to that we write the step definition right which would be the java code right and uh, now uh, in order to execute test cases in cucumber we need to have one runner which is a cucumber runner but in this case what we are using is we are using the test ng uh, runner as well meaning we are integrating cucumber runner with test ng which will convert your scenarios into the at the rate test annotation so that they can be processed using the test ng right now what we are discussing in this current lecture is we want to discuss about the retry analyzer implementation right so we have already implemented it so what we are doing is we are intentionally failing this particular test uh, case so that uh, it will re-execute on failure right so this is a test case that we are going to consider right now in order to re-execute the failed test cases there is a mechanism in test ng which is id try analyzer that we have already implemented so let me quickly recap so this is a class that we have implemented right um, this is a class which is implementing id try analyzer i mean right so id try analyzer is the interface which can be used to re-execute your failed test cases right it has one method retry which we need to implement when we implement this particular i retry analyzer right so i have defined two variables first one is max try and second is count max try is used like how many times we want to re-execute our failed test case in our case we will re-execute it once again right once more i mean right now let us try to understand the functionality of retry method right so it expects i test result so it will be automatically called when this particular i retry analyzer is implemented but it would need one uh, listener i mean right so what it is checking if uh, it is not success if the test result of a particular scenario or a particular test case is not successful it will simply uh, go inside and it will um, return true as a result it will re-execute the failed test case but in case it is successful it will simply return the false and as a result it won't re-execute the failed test case so this is how retry analyzer works right now um, as we have just discussed that this particular integration of scenario like cucumber runner with test ng will convert your scenario into at the rate test right and now we have defined the implementation of i retry analyzer as well so we need to provide this particular retry class to the at the rate test annotation so same can be done using the annotation transformer so we have another uh, uh, listener i mean i annotation transformer so we have provided implementation of same using this annotation transformer class and we are implementing this particular transform method which has uh, uh, these particular parameters right so i test annotation is required actually i test annotation is at the rate test annotation so to, to this particular annotation we are providing the retry uh, class so that whenever the test case fails it will re-execute this particular failed test case right now uh, when we want to use retry analyzer we will have to re-execute we'll have to provide the listener actually this particular listener to the runner or to the test change xml so i'm going to test change xml in test change xml uh, what we are doing is we are pointing to this particular same runner and then after what we are doing is we are providing listener annotation transformer which is pointing to retry analyzer and uh, which is providing the implementation of data analyzer to add each at the rate test annotation right so same we are providing here right so when we will execute this particular test case right 
so what will happen it will execute the test case right so what we are going to do so this is the test case that we are going to talk about so let us copy the tag and go inside ui test tenor and inside tag section let me provide this particular value and let us now run it from testng.xml right because it is also pointing to the same banner right and see what will happen so we will observe that it will execute this particular test case and on failure it will re-execute this particular test case right So let me show you here. So it executed two test cases. One is failure and another is retries, right? Same can be confirmed from this side, right? So one test case is executed and the same test case is executed once again, right? Now let me go to the parallel execution part, right? So as we have already implemented parallel execution, so what we will do, we will simply copy paste this particular scenario. Only change that I have brought in is scenario name change, right? So now I'm going to run this particular uh, runner once again using testng XML and we will observe what will happen. So let us see what will happen. So it is executing. So you will observe though we have two test cases so it is showing three run right it should be total four run because two run and two retries right but it is showing overall three run two are failure and another is retries right retries is only one right so there is inconsistency so same can be observed here so only uh, dashboard uh, two the second test case got executed two times while the first one is not executed two times why because this is parallel execution right and to confirm that it is working fine in sequential execution let me go here and uh, when we are uh, i mean integrating cucumber runner with test ng we are overriding this particular scenarios method and here by default for data provider we get parallel equal to true we will simply make it as false and let us now try to execute this particular test case once again right so parallel equal to false will clearly indicate to the cucumber runner that we want to execute our test cases in sequence so let us see what will happen in this case it should work fine in this particular case so it executed the test cases it's still executing amin yeah so let us take a look at the report so total four run two failures and two retries right same can be confirmed here so in case of sequential execution it is working fine so for first test case it is triggering two times and similarly for second test case it is triggering two times right now we are going to talk about how to dissolve in case of parallel execution because for parallel execution it is uh, uh, unable to re-trigger or re-execute all the test cases right so we'll simply go to this retry class because we are dealing with multi-threading so we'll have to introduce the concept of thread local or we'll have to implement the thread safety right so max try is going to be static so we are not worried about that we are worried about count so which might be getting changed by one thread and getting used by another thread right so what we'll be doing so we will convert this uh, count into thread local so thread local of integer because uh, we are having count as integer and now let us define it as count and we will use one initial value thread local with initial value and it is expecting supplier so don't worry about supplier this is how we can provide supplier so we have provided the value as zero as like this so we have simply converted this line number eight with line number nine but only changes we converted into thread local right so once we have converted this into thread local so thread local has two methods one is get uh, and another is set so using get we will get the initial value right and now we need to use we need to update the value of count right so for that purpose we'll be using count dot set 
right and as we need to increment so first we will get the previous value count dot get plus one right and now let us remove this particular set text right so only change that we have brought in is we converted the count into thread local and we are using it right now let us re-execute the test cases again right in parallel mode and see what will happen so execution is going on we will take a look at the report as well as the console so we see that total four run and uh, two failures two retries and let us confirm the same from the left side so dashboard two that is second scenario is triggered two times similarly dashboard one that is first scenario also triggered one time two times sorry right so to confirm it further let us again copy it and paste it and let us give it three this time and let us re-execute this particular test case once again right so this time there should be six runs three failures and three retries let us confirm the same so they are running in parallel so failures are also running in parallel right so if you will take a look right so they are like total six runs three are failure and three are rate rise right and on the left side we will see that dashboard three then two times similarly dashboard two that is second scenario ran two times and similarly dashboard one which is first scenario this is also triggered two times so this is how we can fix this particular problem for this parallel execution so this is what i wanted to cover guys thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again